This was impressed on my heart to share on the channel. Uh, if you know me, I'm not a preacher, rapture, believer. I was for many years, um, along like everybody else, but who didn't actually study that aspect uh, in the Bible. Up, well, just up until the Holy Spirit showed me the truth uh, a few years ago, and I have, I have made a stance on defending scriptures that that too tell us there is no preacher of rapture, but the preacher of rapture has to be one of the biggest brainwashing false schemes and doctrines out out here, and that is still being preached. But you know, Father wanted me to put this forth on the channel, and I pray it reveals truth, plant seeds, and open eyes to not debate. But to take it to Father, I pray it is for someone because, in my opinion, the pre tree rapture is like the pill that numbs the truth or makes it go away for those who don't like truth or can't handle the truth. In my opinion, also, pre tree rapture was designed to be a cozy haven to one's fear or doubt or unbelief. That way they can, uh, in relief, though false relief at that, you know, tuck all of that into the, the belief of a pre tree rapture doctrine to not worry or deal with truth uh, because pre-trib sounds really secure. It sounds really cozy. Uh, it makes you uh, not scared because the doctrine itself is, 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 evolved, is surrounded by the idea that, you know, you won't go through anything, that you will not face anything. Uh, and that is, totally what the enemy wants you to believe like even uh outside of a pre-trib pre rapture uh belief we go through things in this life we, we do face many things in this life that makes us you know stronger uh, by the grace of christ if we're in christ uh to always keep him close to help us to navigate this life and and whatever comes along that is emotionally damaging, mentally damaging, physically damaging, or whatever the case may be. So this really, the pre trib rapture doctrine really sets people uh, up in a way that they're not ready, they're not prepared, they're just tugged and, and safe uh, in, in, the, in their own corners of their mind. Uh, but the backbone and foundation of pre trib rapture doctrine is not biblical, it's just simply the foundation of one's own fear. Uh, people will use the verse uh, in the twinkling of an eye, but that proves only a transition to happen, changing us into one form onto another form. But even in the context of that scripture itself, it does not speak of a group of people being raptured before all hell breaks loose. It speaks to the supernatural power in the moment of what people will go through when they receive their glorified bodies. They will change, but many associate that with uh, a pre-trib rapture scenario, saying that that is what it that is what is going to happen because look it says right here that in a twinkling of an eye we will be all caught up and the verses actually don't say in a twinkling of an eye we will we will all be caught up but many people say it just like that because the preacher rapture pastor has said it for years just like that to associate it with a preacher rapture belief but this is what yeshua wanted me to bring on this channel to go forth Yeshua talks about the wheat and tares in the parable in Matthew 13, verses 37 through 43. And Father says, this is Yeshua speaking, The one who sows the good seed is the son of man, and the field is the world. And as for the good seed, these are the sons of the kingdom, and the weeds are the sons of the evil one. And the enemy who sowed them is the devil, and the harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. So just as the weeds are gathered up and burned in the fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The son of man will send out his angels and they will gather out of his kingdom all things that offend those things by which people are led into sin and all who practice evil, lending others into sin and went and will throw them into the furnace of fire. In that place, there will be weeping and grinding of teeth and then the righteous those who seek uh, the will of God will shine forth, radiating the new life like the sun in the, in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears to hear, let him hear and heed my words. So Yeshua is saying when he comes back, there will be those who offended and did iniquity who will be gathered, which is also taken, and they will be thrown in the fire. But the ones not gathered shall shine forth as the kingdom 
of their father. In Matthew 20, verse 4, uh, verses 36 uh, through 44, in summary, uh, Jesus talks about no man knows the day, but it will be like the days of Noah, how he entered into the ark, but knew not until the flood came and took them all away. When then it shall be two in the field, and then two shall be grinding at the mill, and one out of each shall be taken, and the other left. But watch therefore, since you don't know the day of the Lord. So, if on the day of the Lord, Yeshua says he will collect the sinners by the angels who will be the reapers to collect them, while those in Christ will be left alone and glorified, please explain where a pre-trib rapture scenario fits into what Yeshua is saying. Because the pre-trib belief is, you know, you get caught up in the sky and then there are seven years of the Antichrist. But in Matthew, Yeshua is saying he comes to send those to hell and glorify others which will be the end of the age or the world not seven more years of you know tyranny under the antichrist this means those who have endured up until his return will be christian uh who will become glorified um but will have gone through tribulation and there is no verse besides those talking about the chosen 144,000 who are the only ones pardoned not to go through the brutal judgment under the antichrist tyranny but other than them there are no other believers who are pardoned or set to have left or flew away in the sky prior to those in the latter days who will be here at the end at the time of the end where Yeshua comes and throws one bunch in the lake of fire and give the other bunch glorified bodies. Second Thessalonians chapter two verses one through three says the day of the Lord won't come until the son of prediction makes his debut, which I'm paraphrasing. So furthermore, that debunks preacher rapture belief. And if this brings fear, doubt, you know, or anger. That's a sign that you are not ready to go like you might believe. But take this to the Lord and surrender those things uh, unto him in order to know the truth. If you have a desire and a heart to really want the truth and seek the truth to where you are absolutely sure this is the truth. Because our flesh will cater to anything that makes us feel better. Pre-trip, rapture, belief, makes us feel better we don't have to go through anything we won't have to suffer anything uh but it is a lie it is a lie from the devil and the fact of the matter is in christ you don't suffer things you know you will have a a new spirit and uh, be a new creature and he will give you a spirit of peace and even a spirit of boldness to go through things so i just ask you to take this up to the lord i was led to bring this forth on the channel may it reach many hearts because you know I, my prayer daily is you know for every labor you know throughout the four corners that we be in perimeter to move and reach and touch many hearts to believe in christ and to follow christ uh and that could even be moving in the perimeter on even our own channels uh as the video goes forth out to whomever it does but i pray it reaches somebody and that it be a seed planter for those who need it. I love you guys. Blessings and shalom.